This video is sponsored by Gigabyte. I'll light this laptop this year. No. You know that I've got a lot of portable consoles. This channel kind of thrives on portable gaming. But believe it or not, most of my time spent gaming is usually on a PC because I'm either streaming or I'm playing Valorant with the boys. In my last video, I just said how I like to travel light and I always bring my laptop with me for like work stuff, but I can't do any gaming on this thing. It's not a gaming computer. So when I'm out and about, that means no Valorant with the boys. Sorry guys, I, I can't play tonight. I, I know. Oh, I'm sorry. We got gopher or something. Every Windows laptop with specs that I've ever been interested in are just too big to even consider traveling with. Gaming these days requires some pretty beefy specs. And if I want to play on something that's going to be over 144 hertz or something like that, those laptops are certainly beefy. Carrying those and their power bricks just isn't really practical. They call those desktop replacements because sure, you can like carry them around, but you're going to need like a pretty substantial amount of space. You're going to need like your own desktop wherever you are. So you're not going to be like busting one of those things out at a coffee shop or something. Or maybe you can. Gigabyte sent me this. It's incredibly thin and manageable for the amount of power that's in here. You're looking at a laptop, but it is right now connected to this whole desk setup. This is a Gigabyte Aorus 15 BMF. It's 15.6 inches, which is like the most I'd want for something that I just want to throw in my bag. It's only 1080p, but the display is 144 hertz. So it's exactly what I'm looking for in a portable gaming rig. And it plays every game that I'd want to play at those high frame rates. And listen to this. It's a third of the price that I paid for this one. It's only $1,000. So that's like actually practical, especially for something that you just want to game on. I've reviewed handhelds on this channel that cost more than this thing does. And obviously this thing's gonna be capable of higher graphical fidelity and stuff than those things would, because this is a whole ass laptop. You're gonna get a lot more out of this realistically than you would in a handheld because it's just it's just bigger. There's more in it. It also has a whole ass NVIDIA 4050 in there. That's the mobile version of NVIDIA's budget-friendly card from their 40 series that isn't even out yet. But that's what's allowing this thing to crush frames. The first game I tried with it was Valorant. I got a nice healthy 300 plus frames, no problem. The next game I tried was a Resident Evil 4 remake that I'm slowly working my way through. And that got me up to a little over 120 frames per second, but some dips down to about 100 when a lot of stuff was happening on screen. For reference, my Steam Deck kind of struggles with this. I had to bring the frame rate down to about 30 frames per second on there or else it started to sound like a jet engine. Destiny sat at about 140 frames per second, but dipped down to like 110 when stuff was happening on screen. This was all at 1080p, and this computer held strong. I didn't have any other sort of slowdown or graphical glitches while it was pumping out those high frame rates. I was very, very impressed. And that's all well and good and great, but if it's gonna replace my laptop in like day-to-day -day travel and stuff, then it's gonna have to do a little bit more than that. You see, I got a little bit of a weird desk setup here. I switched between using a laptop and a desktop PC, but both are connected to my desk setup. So my mouse, keyboard, audio interface, and even my two monitors are both connected to both computers. Whichever computer is on is the one that they'll all connect to. This setup is actually thanks to two things. One of them is both of these monitors that were actually provided to me by Gigabyte in a video that I did for them last year. So thank you very much. They have a KVM in them, so all my peripherals are hooked up to those. 
and it's the monitors that do the switching back and forth between computers. In order to connect my laptop to this setup, I have a little Thunderbolt 4 dock. I was shocked to learn that this computer actually supports Thunderbolt 4. No Windows device ever supports Thunderbolt 4. So this was a huge shock to me and very cool and works very well for the thing that I already have. So all I have to do is plug in this one cable. And now this Windows laptop can connect to my mouse, keyboard, audio interface, and my two monitors. It defaulted to 4K on both monitors, which is crazy, and 1080p on the laptop screen. So three monitors. I had to lower that real quick. This thing handled it like a champ, but I didn't want to overdo it. Remember, this thing was only $1,000 and it's tiny. I disabled the laptop screen and ran both external monitors at 1080p, which you can do because it supports MUX switching. So the GPU just outputs right to the other monitors. The left monitor I ran at 144 hertz because that's my main gaming screen. After all that, I was a little disappointed to see Valorant hovering at around 30 frames per second. What happened to those high frame rates that I was seeing before? And that's because, remember, this laptop only has that one Thunderbolt 4 cable plugged into it, which is kind of amazing in its own right. If you want to play something like Celeste, you'd probably be fine with this. But if you want to get those higher frame rates, if you want to pump a lot more out of that GPU, you're going to want to plug in the AC power adapter. So two cables. This will allow the laptop to draw more power, getting you the frame rates you wanted. I locked it to V-Sync just because, again, I didn't want to overdo it. And honestly, it felt exactly like playing on my desktop. I didn't skip a beat. I was right at home. Zero dropped frames, no noticeable latency. The fans were cooking, but all my thermals were in check. It didn't show any signs of getting close to overheating at all, even with the top of the laptop lid closed. Back when I lived in Brooklyn, I had two different desk setups, one in my apartment and one at a studio space that I worked out of. I had a whole video on that on my personal channel. You can watch that. That's from a while ago. Before I even had these two monitors, I had some other ones. But I loved that setup a lot because I just had my one computer and I can bring it between both workstations and I had all my files and all my programs and everything and it was always like I was working on the same thing because I was. Now, me and Hannah have a few of those different types of desk setups like all over the house. That means I can take this one laptop and bring it anywhere I want in the house and just plug it in and have a whole setup ready to go. Now that's like a real desktop replacement, except it's the size of an actual laptop. Of course, if you don't have a Thunderbolt 4 dock, you still have all the IO necessary to plug each individual thing in. Three USB ports, one USB-C, one Thunderbolt 4, that's also kind of like USB-C, an Ethernet, a mini display port, and an HDMI 2.1 port. So if you have a high refresh rate TV, something you use with your PS5 or Xbox Series X, this thing can hook up to that too. Wi-Fi 6E future proofs it and gives you the fastest connection you can get right now. It has a webcam, which my other Windows laptop doesn't even have. An Intel i5 with four performance cores and eight efficiency cores, which helps take some of the load off of the GPU. And of course, RGB. Just in case there was ever a question about whether or not this thing was a gaming PC. And all that's great, but for me, this is just going to be my little travel guy for when I'm out and about and don't want to miss a night of Valorant with the hell oh, I didn't realize, I didn't realize. I didn't realize. Or if I just want something with a little more power than what my Steam Deck can like realistically provide. Or if I want something to play with the mouse and keyboard. Something like StarCraft. Or Valor with the nice, 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 nice. What do you guys think about my cool new Gigabyte Aorus 15 BMF? I think I, I think I nailed that. Yeah, I nailed that. All right, what do you think about my new laptop? It's pretty cool, right? There's a lot of powerful stuff. For such a small little tiny budget guy, that's like actually reasonable. What would you do with something like this? How would this fit a need in your life? Leave it in the comments below, at me on Twitter, any and all of this other social media garbage. Do you have any questions about what this thing could do? Don't forget to also check them out at the link in the description below. Thank you, Gigabyte, for sponsoring this video again. 
course, we got Twitch streams over on twitch.tv slash wolfden if you want to talk like live with me. And the most important thing that you can do is just subscribe right here and share this video with a friend, a friend who is maybe in the market for something and doesn't want to spend too much money. Thank you very much. Have yourself a good week. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm on. Yeah, I'm on. No, I'm on now. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. We can go.